hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl azine williams how are you all doing hope you guys are doing great so it's been a while apparently like two days since i've not made any video and it looks like i've been away for like months yeah that's how much i'm addicted to talking to you guys so um today yeah i'm gonna be talking about in fact i'm just gonna be talking about um this whole angela okore thing that's been going on i've not talked about it a lot of people are sending me messages like oh isn't it what you have to say about this but before i go in i just want to start with the you know happy stories that happened over the past two days that i've not been able to come here um first of all a happy belated birthday to kim opera baby girl's birthday was yesterday yes and the puppet pepper them ex-housemates came um gave a surprise party then they partied all through the night yes and um likes of jeff mercy ek gedoni kafi shei um twoyo nk diane esther a whole lot of them were there but prominent people that were not there not prominent like people that were you know very very not there tacha wasn't there yeah tacha wasn't there why i do not know yeah and um who else i didn't see ella there was ella there i don't think so telma was there but i don't think ella was there yeah okay moving on um tacha of course she hosted she was part of the whole she and ahis hosted the um mayor of lagos that's mayor kun's show that was two days ago yeah it was super fun um sasha did her zanku and her what's that again is it best or what i don't know yeah that dance i cannot i cannot even dance that thing to save my life yes i've been practicing that dance for almost how many months now and it seems like whatever i do it i look like a character out of a cartoon yes the other one i tried to do the best thing and i almost landed on my head so i am not gonna try it so well done to the people that know how to dance it not all of us can be pokoli yes so um um she was with her bestie kafi yeah um she surprised kafi she even brought kafi to the stage she hung out with dj copy and all that it was all fun they had fun um yeah so what else happened oh yeah you famous youtuber and um will i call her now um relationship expert not really you all know her as grace agilore yes surprise surprise she's pregnant yes so <laughs> she's pregnant a lot of people were surprised like ah, ah, how can you grace agilore be pregnant i'm like uh yeah she's pregnant because she's pregnant now people were like ah but she used to tell us men are scum don't do this with men da -da 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 -da. i'm like ah <laughs> that's what you do when you you come out here you say what you want to say but you go and you do what you want to do so i'm not gonna blame the baby girl so i'm just waiting for the baby to be born and we'll say congratulations to her yeah so people that are dragging grace um that's why i always say whenever somebody comes to say stuff on social media believe it at your own peril yes Believe it at your own peril. Lindy KG was telling us, um, what's that thing? Celibacy, celibacy. And, ah, baby was born. Now again, we see Grace Agilore. Every, they're just telling you, you know, what, um, to be careful, I guess. That's what they're telling you. They're not telling you how to live your life. Just to be careful and that's it. So nobody should come for that. That's my own. Because they never forced you to believe them. Yeah. So moving on to the story of the day. Hmm. Huh. Angela Okori. So I woke up the other day because I've been down. Um, yeah. So I woke up and I got the story that she was attacked. I'm like, wow. I was really, really scared, guys. I was really scared because it's the Ember Months. And if you've lived in Nigeria almost all your life, you know, you know that the Ember Months in Nigeria, especially December period, can be somehow. So when I heard it, I was like, oh God, what happened? Then um, I saw the story. Um, her car being vandalized, um, you know, the um, glasses, not the windscreen, but the glasses, yeah, by the side, you know, being shattered. They said people sprayed bullets and all. I was still waiting. Then Stella Damikokos, blogger Stella Damikokos, now came to tell us that um, 14 bullet pellets, or pellets, as the case may be, were taken out of her hair or her head, but it was kind of like prevented by her wig. Hmm. 
I was like, okay. I was a bit skeptical when I heard that story, quite frankly. But then I was just, you know, my mind was not even, you know, going on the part of is this, is it true or not. My mind was actually going on, is she okay? Because life first, that was my main concern, life first. So when I now saw her doing the live stream, I'm like, oh, thank God she's okay. That was when my curious mind came back. <laughs> I was not looking at the facts. Guys, today we are going to be dealing on facts, yeah? We are going to be dealing on facts. So nobody should come for me. Let's all keep an open mind. Because um, first things first, I thank God she's alive. Because this life, it doesn't have duplicate. When one is gone, the person is gone. You know, if you have not lost somebody, you will not know what I'm talking about. This life is, 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 is not... Um, this life is, is, is a mystery, you know? So that's why when people go through stuff like this, I don't take it as a joke. But then I've got to do my, what I love to do. I've got to point out, it's left for us to see the truth. It's not that she was not attacked. There was an attack. But the story that she, I've been hearing, that she's been giving out, does not correlate with the evidence that has been placed on us. So let us all keep an open mind. So before you crucify me, Biko Ejo, I am just saying the facts. It is not sentimental. Thank you very much. So let's look at the first fact. Um, first things first. They said the wig kind of like prevented the um, stuff from entering her head. That was what Stella Damikoko said that Angelo Corey told her. Then the second time, Angelo Corey now said they removed 10 bullet pallets from her hair. From her head, sorry. And two bullet pallets from the corner of her eye <coughs> sorry guys so now i had to ask and the very next day in fact she was she was discharged that day <coughs> and the very next day she was doing a live video now i ha i have friends that are medical doctors in fact i had to call one of my friends and I had to like, you know, ask her, okay, I said, doctor, tell me really what do you think about this? I showed her the story. She was like, ah, okay, first of all, you know, um, there is no doctors or there is no doctor that will remove 12 bullets from somebody's head in 24 hours and let the person go or discharge the person. That was the first thing she told me that it's quite impossible that she has a patient that she has a patient that um, has a bullet that has been lodged in <coughs> in his body for like two months now. They don't just take out bullets like that. That is what she said. That <coughs> they don't just take out bullets like that. So that was the yeah. So that was the um, first thing that she said, and she said that um, removing bullets from the head like that within that like that amount of bullets we even cause more injury than leaving it there so most times doctors what they do is they leave it there and number two nobody that they remove bullet not even one bullet from their body will come back like be talking and be doing live video the very next day why because the person would not have um, recovered from the anesthesia given during surgery so that the person can even lift off the phone to start doing any live video she now said, concluded that, okay, maybe she was either grazed or maybe um, by the bullet or it was a toy gun. That was her analysis as a doctor. That is fact number one. So that is fact number one, guys. Now, she said that this attack happened, the assassins um, kept shooting at her for like 30 minutes. Now, um, from that story, she said, you know, the glasses were shattered, of course. We saw the glasses. We saw um, her car. You know, guys, go. You can go to Instablog Niger to see that. We saw her car. We saw the x ray and all that. Now, they sprayed bullets on her for 30 minutes, yet the assassins could not come any closer to finish up the job. Anyways, um, that one is that. That one is that because we're just, you know, looking at facts here. You know, let's not be sentimental about this. Because if a person is sent to assassinate somebody and they've been spraying bullets for 30 minutes when they are not armed robbers coming to steal, I don't think assassins will even spend that much of a time, you know, spraying bullets at the car. That's the one. Another thing is, 
um maybe also maybe because i've seen some people when they are going through some kind of traumatic you know they lose count of time so i will not even fault her for the 30 minutes she said because she said it lasted for 30 minutes maybe it did not get up to that because trauma can make somebody think what is not there so i understand that now let us also think of something there was no scratch or bullet mark on the car you say these people have been shooting at the car for 30 good minutes let's say scratch the 30 minutes because maybe she was just exaggerating because of the trauma now um somebody has been spraying bullets that amount of bullets and not one single one touched the body of the car only the glasses even the windshield the windshield the windshield is this mirror in the front of the car right no it wasn't broken no single bullet at the exterior of the car that's another thing you know another thing is um it's either so many things are wrong in this picture so many things are wrong in this picture okay look at let us look at the x-ray she, she put out now i also took you know a picture of the x-ray and showed my doctor friend and the person was like you know what that x-ray didn't even show that this thing is a bullet palette that bullet palette don't look like that on x-ray they are as white they, they are very white she showed me actually a real um x-ray of a bullet palette that this stuff looks like maybe broken glasses which did not even enter her score that this kind of thing just maybe lodged in her hair so it's not really bullet palettes but maybe glass that was another thing now um i wish i could get a picture of what a bullet palette looks like on an s3 i will google it and i will put it here for you guys to compare and contrast because i love facts you know today's one is not like a normal day gist you know and yeah so another thing is um another thing is okay these people were you know spraying bullets on a car and we've we we're not look the thing that is even outrageous to me right now is no police report has been filed ever since that thing happened no other person because this is nigeria where if something happens in one place in this social media trend day time we would have heard it from some source everywhere we would have heard oh this went on here and you know judging from where um she was coming from it was in a public place it was on the road that this happened i'm telling you i'm telling you you guys will bear me witness when something happens you would even hear from many people oh this thing happened to this person so, so, so place even before the person came or come online to share it so now nobody is even nobody has come out to say oh this happened to this thing even before she would have said it other people ha would have you know i hope you guys get my point i might not these are things that came up to my mind you know when i was hearing this story now um looking at her face i don't want to put any of those pictures on my video i don't even want to put it here for my own personal reasons looking at her face that thing her face doesn't look like you know the injuries on her face are not consistent with bullet wounds really they are not consistent with bullet wounds it looks like somebody that has been in an accident or in a bra now looking at all this evidence it points to one thing and you know one question that should be on our minds now why why is she exaggerating why the lie because all this evidence has pointed to one thing she was attacked i cannot deny the fact that she was attacked but what i do not believe is the nature of the attack she's trying to paint now the question i ask myself what will make one lie about the attacker in this nigeria what's the thing that will make somebody lie about somebody that attacked him or her you know is it um and I, you all know it has to do with maybe guilt or shame what is that one thing or somebody that will attack somebody and the person can not come out to say oh this person did this to me now in this nigeria we are living in there are different options you can choose from it's either maybe someone you are owing money someone you are sleeping with their partner or somebody you took money from basically somebody you are owing you know um whatever it is 
it's looking like she was in an accident no doubt but the story is not consistent with the evidence and from guys from what i have seen so far some there are other rumors that maybe she has been you know fellowshipping with one woman's husband which you all know it is not it is not far-fetched when it comes to this particular individual you know and the person organized somebody to you know shake her up you know which i do not even support that kind of thing so it's looking like she was beating up somebody you know attacked her she was really really attacked don't get me wrong but the nature of the attack is something that is not quite going down well with me at least with my thinking faculty yeah saying all these things now guys i am exhausted really i am exhausted i do not understand why she had to like go through all this and my if she is my sister or my friend quite frankly i will tell her you know what babe lay low stay off social media stay off social media don't be coming and be saying it pain them who is it pain it's paining you it is in your body it is paining you know these people obviously they did not do this to you know snuff her out or something like that they did it to you know know that you know ah this is nigeria this is nigeria this is nigeria this is not the first time something like this is happening so it's better i know it can be embarrassing to come out to say oh i was beaten up by so 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 and so because of so 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 and so it can be really embarrassing but please do not make people see you as um a liar you know you are going through pain and instead of people to be sympathizing with you they are busy you know investigating like i'm doing now analyzing and over analyzing you know but all in all i pray for her that she gets better you know but i know this story was still the real story why this or what really happened to her we still surface is this not nigeria it is nigeria it will still surface you know yeah so that's the truth so if you know you're gonna be fellowshipping around with people's husbands you know i'm not saying it's how uh oh please nobody's gonna say that isn't it said she is the one I'm talking to. I'm just giving general advice to us ladies. If you know you're going to be in fellowship with another man's husband, I'll be another woman's husband, just be ready for the consequences. You know, just be ready for the consequences. You cannot be, you know, um, what, what's that adage? Somebody playing with ants infested firewood and, and you, as, you are not expecting to get stung or something like that, stinged or something, whichever one. You guys understand what I mean. What I mean is, simple if you're gonna be rolling around and fellowshipping around with people's husband or people's fiancés just be ready for the consequences because many of these women some might be calm internally but externally they are not calm some might be calm externally but internally they are not calm some might decide to do something like this to you so let us all be careful you know it's the end of the year end of a decade wow you know thank god we are all here so at the end of the day yeah that is what I think about this whole Angela Okore thing. Yeah. So if you have anything to say about it, kindly let me know in the comment section. Yeah, kindly let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys so very much. And yeah, I'm still going to be doing my shout out video probably today. Later today, I'm still going to be uploading my shout out video because you guys have been extremely wonderful. For all those that have been wishing me well, um, asking about my health um getting better you know i'm 80 percent there you know yeah so guys thank you so much for being part of my channel <laughs> take care of yourself guys and have a beautiful week bye guys